with Zoraida Allman. Good evening. We begin with breaking news tonight. Toronto's first female mayor has died. June Rollins was our city's 60th mayor. She was 93 years old. Reaction has already been pouring in with more on that. Uh, her life and her legacy. Let's go to CTV's Miranda Anthissel, who is live in front of City Hall tonight. Miranda. Zoraida Rowland's family confirmed she had a number of ailments and passed away just hours ago. She's now being remembered as a trailblazer by politicians both past and present. Former Toronto Mayor June Rowlands has passed away at the age of 93. Known as a trailblazer, Rowlands accomplished a number of milestones over her long career serving the public. Just ask fellow former mayor Mel Lassman. But she was just a beautiful, beautiful woman in every sense of the word. Uh, she, I don't think she knew really how to get angry. Prior to becoming the 60th mayor of the city, Rowlands was the first woman TTC commissioner and chair of the police services board. Rowlands was first elected to council in 1976 and went on to serve as mayor between 91 and 94. She was really on the ball and she knew the, she knew everything about what was on the agenda. You know, she didn't go in half cocked and not know what the heck's going on. She always knew what was going on. Current politicians are also remembering Rowlands for the impact she had on the city she loved. It's a very sad day for her family, of course, and uh, all of us who've, loved, who've lost somebody we love, it is the hardest day possible. But she has a legacy that will be remembered and celebrated for many, many years to come. Mayor Tory releasing a statement saying in part, she helped build the city. She was elected with a platform that focused on law and order, protecting the city's ravines and green spaces, supporting social housing, and preserving the history with in our city's neighborhoods. Her service to our city is tremendously appreciated and she will be missed. Rollins is survived by her five children. As a fitting tribute to her service and hard work to maintain the city's green spaces, a park was renamed after June Rollins back in 2004 and that is located at Davisville and Mount Pleasant. Reporting live at City Hall, I'm Miranda Anthesol. Zoraida, I'll send it back to you. Thank you, a Miranda. A book of condolences is now available for the public to sign at City Hall as Torontonians pay tribute to the first woman to occupy the mayor's office. June Rollins died last night at the age of 93. Mayor Tory was among those who stopped to sign the book today. Rollins was elected to city council in 1976 and served as mayor from 1991 to 1994. She also served as the, as the city's budget chief and was the first woman to head the TTC and police commission. She allowed other women, including younger women, to see themselves in those positions, which previously had not been the case. And I think that was a gigantic contribution to uh, the well-being of our political system and to better representation. She just crashed right through that glass ceiling after 59 men had been mayor of our city. And, you know, the legacy is that Barbara Hall came after her. Then we had the mega city. But the majority of councillors on our Toronto and East York Community Council from the old city of Toronto, there are women. We have a majority here. A memorial for Rollins is expected to be held in the new year.